It's about a woman who becomes a dog because she is so frustrated in her life. She's not really following her dream and she tries to at one point follow her dream and she's not really allowed to. And so the movie follows her husband dealing with her situation and her sister. Jamie actually plays my sister in the movie, which is awesome because we look like sisters. I've known these two for a very long time, so it was really easy to ask them to do the movie. I knew it was gonna be brilliant, and I knew that they were gonna be incredible in it, but I didn't anticipate how incredible they were gonna be. Uh, like, it's surpri it even surprised me and astonished me how incredible their performances are, and I've known them forever. Literally, when my manager said, Marina Polk is directing this, you know, incredible script. I didn't know Would that. you like to do it? And I said, absolutely, I sign me up. And then I read the script. It really, blew me away. It, uh, it invoked so much inspiration um, to just delve into the psyche of not just, you know, the, 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 the character that I play, um, but what happens to all of us when we're pushed aside or brushed aside and told that can't do something. I so, I so feel like I know it. Everybody knows that feeling. It was so powerful to, to read the screenplay that really spoke for everyone. There, there was not one character in it that I didn't relate to. I read the script many years ago when Mariana had first uh, written it. I knew that she was a, a talented writer and, and uh, the movie that we had made before uh, called Good Dick was one of my favorite things I've ever been involved in and the script was so unique and so strange and beautiful and then when I read this one it was like I wanted this movie to be made that day. In such an odd world with characters that we don't often get to see there's some truth that you wouldn't be able to get to with normal characters and I, I love that about her work. It really, I felt like this script really has her brand on it of dark and funny and spooky and complicated. Everyone who heard about the title loved it. I think because there's such a power in the word and I think that the word actually means so much to so many people. I think that it's um, obviously sometimes misused as a word and a term. I always think that there's another way to to talk about someone. If you're gonna, if you want to call them that, you should call them something else. You could say that they're being assertive. I like titled um, my previous film Good Dick. I titled it that because I was we were making a film about intimacy after sexual abuse, and bitch is really about everybody being that sometimes. And what is that? You know, male and female we're we're all sometimes that but we don't have to be we can be sort of like bigger and vaster than that in this period of time specifically in the chapter that we're in for really st starting conversations about that word we are really supporting stories of all kinds out there because I think that narrative in any form is really powerful and healing and I think that we all need to be healed currently and I actually think that bitch is part of that medicine for America. It's as strange as the story may seem, it's incredibly common. And, um, and that's what makes it so extraordinary because you're dealing with emotions and, and things that we all, all deal with. And I think that right now more than ever, we're all dealing with many different things that are lighting our souls on fire. That's the strongest message that we can put out there right now that's unifying is that we're all in this together. We're all just trying to do our best. I think that, you know, one of the sort of underlying things of this movie is there's this, this huge rift that happens between the, this, the, these characters. For my character, the old way really works great for him. He loved it. And so when that dies, uh, how can you move forward even when it's scary, even when you don't know what to do, um, if, if you're in completely new territory? And sometimes it's just about remaining in the struggle and, and not just running away. Because his character starts out as a philanderer. He's not very present as a father, and he really grows so much in the movie. We see such a shift in him, and it's so satisfying and profound. It's really pro marriage, it's pro-relationships, having great relationships, it's pro-sisters and siblings. It's very interesting for that reason, because we're not like shoving anything down anybody's throat, but everybody's together in their separate opinions. Mm -hmm.